In this video, I want to show you how to prolong cookie lifetime using uh, Cookie Keeper. Uh, cookie Keeper is a state power up that helps you uh, prolong cookie lifetime. So the logic of uh, Cookie Keeper is that it uses uh, master cookie uh, to uh, restore cookies. So basically, for example, we have a plugins for uh, WordPress, Shopify, Magento, and WooCommerce, uh, and uh, uh, for this. Uh, for the website that uses these CMSs, Cookie Keeper works automatically. Uh, so what the app does, it uh, like um, uh, uses a master cookie uh, that defines a user ID, and uh, uh, it helps to restore. Like basically, it stores cookie. If it detects that uh, cookies were erased, it restores cookie from the database. Um, let me show you in practice how it works. I will use, again, WordPress side uh, just to simplify the uh, configuration process. Um, you can uh, uh, use also like Cookie Keeper for custom websites, uh, but the process is, uh, of configuring Cookie Keeper is a little bit complicated since you will need to uh, manually define the master cookie. Uh, for, for like different CMSs, uh, this process is uh, more uh, simple since uh, all CMS have uh, some sort of a master cookie uh, available by default and the name of this master cookie are the same for like each platform so um, yeah uh, that is why like if you use a custom website there is no uh, master cookie uh, with the standard cookie name that we can use to restore to store and restore your cookies okay so let's go back to uh, my WordPress plugin and what you like to uh, make a cookie keeper work what you need to do is add your uh, state container identifier here you can find it inside your uh, state account so paste it here and then just click uh, cookie keeper and click save changes um, now we need to open the cookie keeper power up click use activate it and uh, here you will see like standard cookies uh, that uh, you can just uh, select to prolong. Um, in case you want to understand exactly what type of cookies a cookie keeper prolong, just uh, uh, click here and you will see like the list of all the cookies. For example, for affiliate cookies, we uh, prolong like Avian, Rakuten and Outbrain cookies. Uh, okay, let's go back and select which type of cookies uh, you want to prolong. Uh, besides that, in case you use any custom platform or a platform that is not listed here, uh, you can add a name of the cookie and expiration time and days. So, for example, if we were not, uh, like, if, if, if Cookie keep Keeper was not able to extend uh, uh, these cookies by default, you will just need to type here cookie name and then set expiration time. So, but I won't do that. Uh, so once done, just uh, uh, click save. Here um, you need to, to select the domain uh, for which you are or you want to prolong cookie. Uh, so in my case, I'm using only one domain. I, I do not use a multi-domain feature for this container. So uh, I created, I selected my tagging server URL. Then add your Web Google Tag Manager ID. So to find your Web Google Tag Manager ID, open your WebGTM container. Please ensure that uh, it's WebGTM container, not the server one. And uh, just copy uh, this ID here and uh, select a platform. So uh, I, I'm i using WordPress and uh, um, uh, yeah, I selected WordPress and click Generate. Uh, once done, uh, you will see the uh, configuration data that you will need to add to your uh, WordPress plugin, but we already uh, did it, so I won't do that now. Uh, let me verify that everything is correct. So yeah, Cookie Keeper Power Up is enabled and uh, the cookies that I want to extend are selected. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. Uh, now we need uh, to test if uh, Cookie yeah, like uh, cookie, cookie Keeper works correctly. Um, you need to test it inside Safari uh, because this browser has uh, the biggest restrictions in terms of uh, cookie lifetime. So I will open my my website in Safari. Uh, click uh, Open Console and 
uh, go to cookies. So uh, just to, to simplify the process, let me uh, uh, remove the first two cookies. So basically it's a uh, uh, stape cookie and FBP. And we need to remember that uh, uh, like a uh, stape cookie ends with uh, 785 and uh, uh, FBP uh, 282. So I will remove this one. Um, then just uh, let me uh, click uh, my website and for you can see here that um, Stape cookie uh, and FBP cookie were restored and uh, the value of the cookie is the same that it was previously before I erased the cookie. So basically it's 785 and 282. Um, so this is it. So basically the configuring of uh, Cookie Keeper is extremely simple for uh, standard CMSs for which they provide um, plugins. Just enable it inside your plugin and enable it on Stape and then just use Safari to test if cookie were restored correctly with the, with the same value that uh, uh, it was before you erased the cookies. Um, let me quickly talk uh, on how to configure it for uh, the custom platforms. So in case you have a custom platform or um, a platform that is not listed here, uh, select other and uh, uh, you need to add here like a master cookie or user identifier. So uh, there can be a few ways uh, on how you can identify user. It is either cookie local storage, DOM element, JavaScript variable or your tape user ID. Um, so for example, if it's a cookie, um, then just type a cookie name, so it's pretty simple. And uh, the same with local storage or any other, other variable. So like the, the process of defining it inside Stape is simple, but you need to uh, know exactly uh, which parameter uh, fits um, like the requirement of uh, master cookie. Basically, uh, this master cookie, it should be uh, the same uh, for one user in one browser or, or for example if, if it can be the same for one user in different browsers it, it would be even better um, yeah so uh, that's it that's everything that I wanted to talk about uh, uh, in this video so thank you for watching and see you in the next video